concerning how to do screen record and uh, and how the process works so I've got my uh, I've got my unit sitting here in fact I'm I've got my drone sitting off the side here so you can see I got the handheld controller here I'm using a wireless HDMI transmitter it's a little USB-C device um, I can move it closer so you can see it Oops, little USB-C device and then that feeds into my USB-C of my PC and I'm just using video capture so here uh, the question is how do you screen record and how do you get the, the recording on your PC so this is how we do it um, so the first thing I do is when I'm going to do a flight I pull down my top of my screen with my finger and right here is screen shot here is screen record so I'm going to click on screen record there and notice right here and I can take my finger and move this off to the side so come on there we go so there you can see I've got 11 seconds 12 seconds recording off this little off and it's being recorded what's being recorded is being put into an into the internal SD card the internal drive of this RC Pro controller so now um, let's just do a couple things uh, I'll zoom in okay I'll zoom back obviously I can move my gimbal up and down okay so let's uh, got that okay I had to get my geocron running so there I got my nice geocron running so so now the question is what do you do I got one minute recorded so far as you can see um, and by the way if I click IR there's my IR I'll gimbal up a little bit and because I have my zoom link enabled and this is zoom link right here this yellow thing because that's enabled I can zoom in now if I do a split screen SBS is side by side so we'll click that there now we have side by side and with having zoom link enabled now both cameras are linked more or less okay uh, the IR camera and the and the the uh, the other camera the the visual camera and here you can do calibration hit the FFC button and there FFC calibrated that's the uh, thermal if I want to change my thermal to tint there it is I'm on tint now so uh, anyway We've got two minutes recorded so far so let's go ahead and assume that we're good I'm at 56 percent uh, use right now on my uh, my my drones battery which is okay and I'm a hundred percent on my uh, on my controller right now I'll just go ahead and get back to single shut off side by side I keep clicking on the screen I have to click with my finger on the and then I'm going to go back to zoom there it is okay so there we go all right so now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to stop recording so I've ended my flight in fact I can even go back you see I'm still screen recording uh, I go back to my main screen and everything and you see there's three minutes recorded here so far see I can move that around but I'm going to stop that recording now so now the recording's been stopped. And I'm going to go to Files. And I'm going to go to Movies. And if I look in Movies, here you can see all the movies I have. There's the, the down at the bottom, it's usually at the bottom of my list. There is what is done today as of 10.32 a.m. So if I hold my finger on it, and I'm going to click the three dots up here in the corner. So I held my finger on it to select it. Then I clicked on these three dots up here. 
and I want to click copy to. I usually copy to. I used to move to, but I've had problems. So now, where am I copying it to? I'm going to click on these three bars, okay, and I'm going to click on disk. That's my internal uh, um, little internal card on the on the unit. Now, I usually just go to DCIM and wait a minute. And I will copy it right here. <coughs> so it's copying right to my DCIM folder. So it's called Screen 2023, November 28th. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and back out. I'm clicking the back out button, the, the button on the controller. So I'm really done with this. And I'm going to go ahead and and eject the SD card from my remote control. So now I have my SD card. Um, let me change my camera view here. Okay, what we did, we copied the card. We took the card out of the camera. I've got a little adapter here. I'm going to go ahead and put the little micro card in my adapter. And I'm going to plug this into my USB. It's a little USB dongle of the PC. Okay. So let me plug it in. Now we have, if we open up DCIM, there is the screen recording that we just did. Okay. Right there. So if I open it up to play it, there and notice right here that I can take my finger and move so, this off to the side. So there's the. So, come on. Video is not showing yet, but so it, there you can see. But it that's it. And now I can drag that onto my PC wherever I want it and go from there. So if I just copy it here, I'm going to copy it off this. I'm going to copy this uh, here and go up to my desktop. I'm going to go to this PC. Well, I'll just go ahead. I've got a uh, USB drive. Uh, that's the USB drive. I'm going to open up a I have a drone folder here. I'll create a new folder uh, called Screen Record. Okay. There it is. I'll open up that new folder and I'll paste right here. There it is. Now let's try playing it again. There, and notice right here that I can take my finger and move this off to the side. So I think it's because I got video playing, I'm, I'm not able to see the, the video so there you can see but, yeah. during the screen record session. But that's how you do it. You brought I brought the screen record in. I got it on my PC. I can, and I, so I'll bring it in. I'll finish this up. I'll put this into a little YouTube video, and send it to everybody. So that's how you do it. Uh, hopefully everybody uh, understands this. If you have any questions? Sure, and let me know. Take care.